Come with us on a journey from Newbury on the Canadian Canal to Reading on the River Thames. I left my beer at the lock, so I'm running back. We're joined by our friends to share the fun, have a few bumps. I'm really scared. I'm about to share. <laughs> and evict a scary hornet from the inside of our boat. It was really hard to get off the bank, even with the pole. Do you know why? Because you're doing it like a banana. So we were being pushed by the flow of the water and I think we were beached in the middle a little bit. Oh, okay. And you're a banana. It's almost 12 o'clock and we still haven't had any food so I'm going to make up a quick lunch on the go uh, while we're cruising. The summer came very unexpectedly. There was wind all the way to the end of May, two days of spring and all of a sudden we're in the summer and I can wear my flip-flops. Crazy weather. sitting at the front and enjoying Alba gliding through the water. The bow is the most peaceful place but because we use it as our garage I prefer sitting on the roof. Going to Mingham is next. We're going through Upper Woolhampton, Aldermaston Lock. Just want to get as far as we can towards Reading, really. Don't want to go through Reading tonight, but um, it'd be good to be on their outskirts where the rapids are. We we'll wake up tomorrow, have a whitewater rapids day, and then flop around like seals on the Thames. Go for a swim. lock landing after the lock mooring thing. Um, as soon as you get out of the lock, the hooks are right here. You can moor up straight away and pick up your crew. It's very handy.
today is one of the most beautiful days of the year it literally feels like we're in heaven everything is in bloom and the colors are rich and vibrant i'll show you some flowers it's so beautiful around here a swing bridge is coming up and after that is the famous Woolhampton Lock where just after the lock a river joins the canal. We obviously did this journey on the way up but we didn't know it was difficult and we did not have been difficult. This is the infamous Woolhampton Lock I believe where the river joins um, the canal but it joins just as you're coming out of a lock so it pushes you all the way to the other side luckily today we've got some uh, lovely volunteers who are going to help us with the lock and also there's a swing bridge immediately after as well so they're doing that for us so we're going to just make it look easy and you know no fuss no fuss That was a bump. That Wallhampton lock. Deed. Yeah, we had a little bump going through the swing bridge. Just couldn't slow down. It just got so quick. And we were having to go, we weren't going too quick, but we had to have some power to actually manoeuvre. Um, oh, and yeah, a bit of a bit of a bump and a bit of an audience, but hey ho, head down to Woolhampton Lock if you fancy a laugh. So this weekend we have a couple of friends joining us for the cruise, I'm Matt and Mary, and I will introduce you guys shortly. Put the gear in. <laughs> Have this upside down then. Keep open. And you need to hold it. I'll hold it. Hold it until barriers go down and everything. So you've presumably used this one already then? Yeah, on the way here. We're on a tricky part of the Canada Navy at the moment. Um, we just came out of lock, don't know what number. Um, and I didn't realise that there was a massive waterfall coming out um, of it. So I was coming out of the lock too slowly. So I decided to abort, reverse and back up and give it another go. Um, and then give it some stink to get out. So yeah, that, that was that lock. Pistachio shell container. <laughs> you know? And I think there might be a couple of burgers. Nice. My last doesn't like uh, olives, so I've uh, separated them into salad. Cool, yep. <laughs> mm. You were attacked by cows. Oh no, that's not oh, no. well for us. I hope you're okay. 
I've never had a picnic in Buttercup Meadow. It's always a bit odd to see Alba on the hill, plus all of these beautiful flowers, the sunset, the whole thing just felt otherworldly. Careful on the side here, there's a little caterpillar that... Yeah, squeaking it. It's like a caricature of itself. Yeah. And it's yeah, made a decision. Quick, quick. Bye bye, caterpillar. <laughs> Sorry. Day two of our adventure trying to get to the Thames. Uh, today's the day. We are just on the outskirts of Reading and uh, not far from Aldermaston. And I think in about 10 locks we should reach the Thames. We just lowered our solar panels and taken chimney and Wi-Fi off the roof just in case because there are a few lower bridges in, um, going through Reading. So hopefully we are going to be fine. Um, today, hopefully, we're going to get onto the Thames. We're at Tile Mill Lock, but I am in absolute agony. I've had a stiff neck for a couple of days and yesterday it just got worse. I can't move my neck any more than that. It's like a really sharp shooting pain. A bit crippled today. Sun's coming out. What time is it? 20 past 10. I thought it was 20 past 8. It's when we started to think about moving. just found uh, a huge wasp or a hornet inside of the boat. It is moving but it's not moving fast. It's kind of like laying there but I saw it move so I don't really know what to do. We have two options. Well, I'm really scared. Abandoned ship. Yeah, <laughs> We have done nothing. We've uh, <laughs> realised we realised the hairspray is not um, not very good, and we don't have a good angle. It started moving in the wrong direction, so we just aborted the mission. We for now. That's it. Logan, legend. Oh, it's still there. This, this, it's on the side of the thing. I think. I don't think that's. Don't it's gone. It's gone. It's not on there. I don't know where, yeah, but it was still... Oh, it's on the side, it's on the side, it's moving. Oh my god. Oh, thank you very much. We got raid, we got raid. Oh, this is long. It's not working very well. Matt, I've got raid. Check your this. Uh, I'm sorry about your shoe rack. No one likes to kill a bug. Whoa, well done. Yeah. 
put it in the water. Ugh, Ooh, look at the all size of it. Just put it in. Okay, okay, it's in the water. Swim. It's just floating. It's under the dinghy. I have committed a, a gruesome act. I think I might be You going. saved four lives today? <laughs> How are, you, yeah. how are you both doing? Are you enjoying the ride? Yes. Oh, so nice to be here in this lovely weather, isn't it? Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. It's not our first time. It's our first time in a while because of the lockdown. I think you said we were your last visitors before That's true. the full lockdown. And yeah. That was about a year ago, wasn't it? And first visitors. Yeah. <laughs> so it's changed quite a bit since then. It's really cool. And thank you for being proactive at saving, saving us from the hornet. Yeah, it goes against my beliefs a little bit to murder a, an innocent insect, but I don't know, when it's a, something as scary looking as yeah. that, you've just got to get rid of it, haven't you? We did look it up on Google if it can kill you, and apparently it can, and that was, for me, the deciding factor. Yeah, it's lucky, you, uh, lucky our little lock friends had some uh, bug spray because the deodorant wasn't really doing the job. <laughs> no. We just stopped before the last lock uh, before riding and um, we're having a quick lunch, uh, regroup because it's been quite an eventful day. We're going to check the uh, weed hutch before we get on the river and then, then we can go. Oh, the burgers are ready. We got stuck a little on the last lock. Um, we did notice that one of the paddles wasn't open and full. And once we fixed that, we were still stuck, so we couldn't figure out what was going on. And Miles had to come up and help me to push the gate because I couldn't. I tried so many times, but it was stuck. So I actually need the power of two people to get it open. This is definitely one of the most unusual canal stretches. I don't think there is anywhere else canal coming through a centre of town with a huge shopping mall on each side of the canal. It's like a stadium of people watching you. Right, this is the low bridge. So this is the last lock on the Kennet and Avon. It's officially uh, an environmental agency lock, so it's uh, Thames styled with the old boat steering wheel. Um, but yeah, we've done it. That's the Kennet and Avon. It's been amazing. How, how many months? October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. Eight months on the K&A. So winter's eight months. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. Cool. But yeah, we're about to go onto the Thames where it's all sunshine. There's going to be no more clouds now ever again because we're on the Thames. Um, it's just going to be sunshine, paddleboard and pims. Minus the pims. We're not going to have to use windlasses for a while. Back to the environmental agency locks with whales. Sorry to disturb you. Why are you just walking? 
Okay. Next thing. They're, they're in the shade of it, aren't they? They're moving <laughs> in the shade. Bye bye, Dax. I enjoy hanging out with you by the lock. Yeah, yeah, bye. I left my bit at the lock, so I'm running back. Okay. Oh, you got your bit. Got my bear. <laughs> this is it. We're saying goodbye to Kenneth and Avon and saying hello to the Thames for a while. Bye, Kenneth. It's been nice. It's been really lovely. This is it guys, we're on the Thames. Favorite moment was uh, obviously tank codeine. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, getting onto the Thames. It's like the beginning of summer, but it it was a jam-packed ordeal day. We didn't have any crashes, but today no. there were a few boom, boom, whoa, whoa moments, weren't yeah. there? We overdone the quote crash quota yesterday, so. But we're here, and we have a boat, so. Brand new solar panels almost went for a swim. <sighs> and then we would have had one less crew as well. <laughs> it would have been so sad. I think my favourite moment of the weekend was the barbecue. Oh, uh, I was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it can be your favourite moment yeah, as well. I, yeah. So good. With the cows, well. <laughs> <laughs> and the food, obviously. Oh yeah, nice food. Yeah. <laughs> And my least favourite moment was the Hornet. Oh, obviously. <laughs> Although it was kind of a highlight. It was... You've got a mayfly in your hair. Oh. Marina. It's, it's not a Hornet. I, I'm okay you with got... that. <laughs> <laughs> the Hornet was an ordeal. I mean, we, we literally planned its destruction. <laughs> yeah. With beauty products. <laughs> <laughs> we gave it a good deodorising. Then luckily the name then, then we gave it some hairspray. So when it was then ready for the hair, the afterlife, the boat in front of us had some bug killer. Raid came yeah. to the rescue. I'm surprised you didn't bake a bread for it. <laughs> it was like the Jean-Claude Van Damme of bugs. It was not, it's, it's probably not dead. It's probably like hung under the dinghy, like. <laughs> <laughs> so Marina, what was your favorite name? <laughs> Getting to the last lock on the KNA, which was the first EA lock, just knowing that we've made it. We haven't, we're still not made to the Thames, but I just felt this is it. We've made <laughs> it to the river. Thank you all so much for watching. Do us a favor and click the like button, subscribe to the channel and let us know in the comments if you enjoyed joining us for the cruise. Huge thank you to our patrons and PayPal legends who support these videos and help to keep our channel going, especially when we cruise every weekend and work all week to make these videos. If you would like to see the next episode today, get access to patron-only live streams, receive an illustrated stick of Alba and many other perks, join us on Patreon. Thanks guys, see you in the next one!